Hey guys, so I have another video for you. This is my latest haul. I have around about 20 something CDs to show you some cassettes and vinyl. So it, this video may be a bit long because I have a lot of stuff to show you. The first thing I'll show you is the stuff which I had, which I found at work. Because of where I work and a CD and free cassette. First CD is U2 Electrical Storm. It just says, um, you get bad, slash 40, slash with the streets have no name, live from Boston, and first track is Electrical Storm, but as you can see, it shows, um, two CDs, so it says on this card, featuring, please insert CD1 into this space, so I will be looking for this one, so I can put it inside that space pretty cool i do enjoy the song i have heard it before but then we have jimmy hendrix two albums on one cassette war heroes and cry of love she's cool two of his studio albums on cassette she's is it two of his studio albums but it's awesome to get that and add it to my collection i know he didn't make many studio albums i think there's like is it three or four or something like that or so many studio albums before we sadly passed away but it's always to get some good stuff from my collection then we have sisters of mercy um this corrosion which is the um single on cassette which is awesome can't believe i, f I actually found that and, and the next one is 24th of november 1990 wembley arena which is also you see that sisters of mercy which is i know it's copied but it's a bootleg and supposedly as my brother said they're worth a lot so happy to get that one and add it to my collection <coughs> right i have a immensely huge ebay haul and i've got some more cds turning up so we'll do a video once all of them turn up but i have a stack of cds here to show you which is awesome so i will be getting unboxing pardon me i will be getting unboxing videos done 90 percent of these and actually played i have played about six of these already the ones that have, aren't sealed first one is concrete and gold which is foo fighters i now have the entire foo fighters back catalog so i've got all studio albums the only cd i'm missing of foo fighters is um there's one with full and b-sides i think it's rare meat or something like that it's called and it's just full of b-sides and stuff so it's the only one i'm missing so happy to get that one in my collection then we have um sonic highways which is another fruit of fighters this is the one i've actually played but i have listened to that album just never got it physical and this one i've never had physical so happy to finally get that physical in my collection <clears throat> then we have enhanced cd and book set saxon transmissions um it says it's a live gig from celebrating first 10 years of denim and leather tour so that's pretty cool i found that for like three pounds so i snapped it up and it's probably one of them um on airways or something but still happy to get that one in my collection then we have saxon performance not quite sure what it was but i looked and it said it was a live cd so i picked it up and then obviously once i bought it it said their first live cd was a two disc edition and this is only disc one i believe which is um was released in the us so it's a usa edition of just this one which is strange but still didn't know at the time but still happy to get something in my collection some more live saxon then we have um infinite this is the limited edition cd and dvd of deep purple this one was released way back in 2017 i believe i've listened to the album i've just not i wanted it for the dvd and i'd never got a physical copy so i thought i need to get that in my own collection happy to grab that one in my collection <coughs> so next one is ceremony and now i have other than the latest studio album i think it's called choice of weapon or something to turn up i have the entire back catalog of the cult now in my collection i never add a copy of this if i need to have this cd in my collection then this one is mandragora which is 
waves of steel this actually came up for a recommendation saying if you like saxon judas priest and all that traditional death leopard all the new wave of british ever metal and all the tradition traditional metal it said you'd be a fan of this so i did a quick google and the as you can see the bit inside that holds the cd it's not there because it's it's just a case so i will be looking for a cd at work and i'll just swap the case over <clears throat> but i did a quick youtube because it came up for like one pound 98 or something so i did a quick youtube enjoyed what i heard so i thought i'll get a copy of that and i'll give them a full listen see what i actually get more into that band see what i think of them then we have closer to the edge yes another great um prog album i am missing a few of there so i do want to eventually get their entire back catalog so that's another one added to the collection i've got like two more to my collection that will be turning off and I'm missing something like another nine or something then I'll have their entire back catalogue then we have Time for Bedlam which is the Deep Purple EP I think that's the EP for that um, for Infinite I'm pretty sure it's to, do, it's to do that Infinite album so I didn't know it was an EP I seen it and thought because it was like £1.95 I thought I don't have that in my collection so I did have a little look and I found it was an EP for that, which I thought was cool and unreleased track. So happy to get that one in my collection. Then we have Beyond Good and Evil, The Cult. This album has been slated by so many people, but I've listened to it over the years and it isn't too bad. It isn't what I'm used to with The Cult and it isn't a good era, but it isn't too bad. So happy to um, get that one in my collection. Then we have One Love. Bob Marley. I actually thought this was a studio album. Turned up and then I realised it's just one of them of our third party best ofs, which I thought, oh well. Um, and it says there's a couple of tracks in here that are live or unreleased. So I thought, it's alright to get in, add it to my collection. Because I know there's something like 13 best ofs of his official and various third parties. And with like Saxon, Iron Maiden, and whatnot, there's a load of generic best ofs out there. Motorhead must have about 30 of them. Which um, I do look for the ones where you get the rare live and someone release stuff, so I pick them up and add them to my collection. Then we have the deluxe edition of Legend, which is his best selling album, which greatest hits, and the second disc is just full of remixes, which that's pretty cool. So I did find that for like three pound ten, and I did pull it in a basket, but then scrolling down and I found the deluxe edition with the extra disc. For next to like five pence or so grab that in my collection i've started to listen to a bit more of him because a guy at work plays him a lot i've heard his stuff over the years and not too bad i thought not too bad but um if i want to change from metal rock metal i go for something different i do love the classical and various others and actually quite like some of his stuff so i thought i'll get his stuff and give it a proper full go then we have genesis archives this is a 3 disc best of, which is 4 hours of music from Genesis, Phil Collins solo, Peter Gabriel solo, Michael and Mechanics, Tony Banks solo and Steve Hackett's solo stuff. So it's just the best of all of it, which is, I thought was pretty bizarre, but the majority of the best of is Genesis, with obviously a couple of tracks from each of their solo stuff. So I thought that was somewhere like £2.50, so I thought I'd grab that one and add that one to my collection. Then we have um, Genesis from Genesis to Revelation. That's their very first studio album. Um, the very first one. I have listened to it and it's not too bad. It's just not really what I'm used to with Genesis because I know the very, very earliest stuff they're finding their sound. So I thought with a band I'm into, if I like them, I will collect their entire back catalogue. Even if some albums are terrible. Purely because it's got um, the name of the band on the CD. So I add them to my collection but isn't too bad it's just not what i'm really used to then we have the anniversary edition of deep purple in rock fantastic album played this how many times this is one of the series as well as that genesis and caught beyond good and evil and the other one i mentioned that i have played um since these have turned up this next one is anniversary edition of deep purple fireball you get the whole album and then you get like um, instrumental remixes, outtakes, b-sides and stuff like that which is cool so I have to get the anniversary of that one in my collection. I do have the standard edition so that will be gifted to one of my good friends. Then this one is Spirit, A History, Magnum. I 
grab that and actually thought it was an album then i realized it wasn't it's this one is just 15 studio songs which is the best of and then this two is some live i'm not sure if it's a gig or from various places but a live cd is always cool and I actually thought it was a studio so to find out it's the best of which I've already got a good hits hit so for I've been checking more out of Magnum so I thought that's cool add that one to uh, my collection then we have Foo Fighters Wasting Light I've actually had this turn on and I not long realised I do have this in my collection bit of a pain um, only cost me like £1.95 or something so that I'll be gifting that to my um, good friend um, who's got a huge collection and I know he hasn't got that in his collection so that one will go into his collection and this one is Magnum two great albums for the price of one Vintage Magnum and the 11th Hour what I've been listening to these I love so it was a thing I, I thought I need to start collecting their studio albums so happy to get more of their albums in a collection so now I have something like four or five studio albums and I will be looking for their other stuff moving on to the Amazon haul, seven CDs and a vinyl, these turned up like Friday and Saturday so I will be doing unboxing videos on all of these, first one is Transmission Impossible Iron Maiden, free CDs, a free, free live, this one's from 1981 so that's the Pordiano era, I'm guessing it's, yes it's the Pordiano era this too is from 1995 which is the blaze bailey era and this three is from dynamo open air 2000 which is the brave new world tour which is a bruce dickinson era but the only thing is is the third disc i already have it separate the dynamo gig and i'm pretty sure it's the same track listing which is a bit of a pain so I do have the thing separate so I may just gift the other version to one of my good friends and let him have that in his collection because I know he's a massive Maiden fan. <coughs> then we have this next one, Syracuse 1976, the New York State podcast. Another Black Sabbath. I love Black Sabbath so happy to get another live one in my collection. I do have about several but I know I don't have this one because I've had a look and it's not in my collection so... That one's awesome. Next one is Nagoya Broadcast 1986 Damage in Japan. A Metallica. And this one is from the Master of Puppets era. Which is absolutely awesome to get one from that era bootleg. I'm not sure what the sound's like because I'll probably do an unboxing video. But I do collect these. Out of... um. 99% of these have been brilliant. The one anthrax, because I've got like three gigs on one, the one gig is a bit iffy with the sound, but the rest of it um absolutely awesome. So these are can be a hit and miss with some of the stuff. <clears throat> Sometimes you get some gigs where the song's missing and stuff like that, but I do collect these because they some of the gigs have stuff on that's not available on their official stuff, like as I've said in the past with a tour where they'll play a song on that tour and that tour only. Then it will get dropped from the set list and never played again. So it's good to hear that song live from, from that tour. Then we have Under the Covers and Over the Moon. The songs that they didn't write and those they gave away. Queen. To this um, broadcast. But it just says um, all tracks from live FM broadcasts recorded at various venues across Queen's career. So you get stuff from the Freddie Mercury tribute concert. They look like some... some other stuff from various shows in like the 70s and 80s which is cool a full um <clears throat> 23 songs not sure how they fit 23 songs in 66 minutes but that's cool to have that one in my collection <clears throat> then we have resentment is always ses sesame i think that's how you pronounce it um partner recording to the throes of joy album which is um, Napalm Death. I do have the Frozen of Joy album, which is great, and it just says um, this partner's recording to Frozen of Joy album, concluding matters through vital tumultuous grindcore and shockwave ambience limited digipack eight track. 
29 minute playing time so the album the throws of joy supposedly that's a partner to it so there's some um, songs that must have um had on that album that wasn't released so instead of doing the two discs i've just released an ep later on with the stuff that didn't make the cut for the album that's what i'm guessing but i may be wrong <coughs> can't wait to dip into that and give it a listen then we have jimmy's birthday bash at royal albert hall 1972 cd set led zeppelin a gig from 1970 um that is cool, 150 minutes, two CDs, so can't wait to give that a listen, see what it sounds like. <clears throat> I think I have one early red, uh, the live broadcast Led Zeppelin in my collection, so it's good to get some more in my collection. I do have, I think, 90% of their back catalogue. I'm missing like two studio albums or something, then I'll have them all on CD. Then we have the latest Morpheus album, which is Halo. Brilliant prog metal band from um, Finland. I do have their entire back catalogue, so this was the only album I was missing, which is their latest studio. So happy to get that in my collection. I know their early career, the early albums was like Doom, Death Doom, that sort of thing. And then they changed their style and went more prog. They have been through numerous lineups and the latest singer, <coughs> his name just gone completely out of my head, is their current one. So they've been through three and this one's the current one who's been with them the longest since um track with the album with House of Sleep on. I cannot remember the name of the album but absolutely love this band. I have seen them in Wolverhampton Under the Red Cloud tour. They were fantastic. <coughs> and Under the Red Cloud is the only album I do have on vinyl, um, CD. So I do need to get that or should it sound vinyl. I do need to get their back catalogue on vinyl at some point but I do have the entire lot on CD all their singles live and EPs and stuff so happy to get their new album in the collection. I have listened to The Moon because it's on YouTube, the video, and it's awesome. So I can't wait to dip into this album and see what I actually think of their latest studio album. <clears throat> so yeah, that's been my um, latest haul of stuff. I will be doing another latest haul, say Friday or something like that, because I have a lot more CDs to turn up. And now I'm going to go and enjoy these. And one more vinyl, I completely forgot about this. This one is Transparent Yellow with... Winter Wind and Black Splatter Vinyl Beyond the Permafrost um, Skeleton Witch If you like your um, Thrash Death Mixture of Thrash Death Doom And that sort of stuff Then I'm guessing you would like this album I have heard these in the past quite a few times And I've listened to various songs I thought this isn't too bad Really need to get their stuff in, their, um, in my collection And actually start dipping more into them <clears throat> so this popped up for pre-order and I did the YouTube thing and I thought I know this is their third Is it second or first studio album? I cannot remember but um, I did make a note so when I do the unboxing video I can <clears throat> get my notes for it But obviously pre-ordered this and I thought I can't wait to unbox this and give these a proper full listen So yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the video on my latest haul Remember to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell I've got a load of unboxing videos as you can see I'm about to go and unbox every one of these and <coughs> do videos from a YouTube channel so they'll be posted up over the next coming months or something. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one. So take care, stay safe. <coughs>